Want to know how to make a New Year's Eve party hat? Yes! In this video, I will show you a mini top hat tutorial. Hi, my name is Kim with Kim Imagine DIY, where I hope to help you imagine the possibilities with DIYs and crafts. If that sounds like fun, consider subscribing. Now let's just jump into this project. Here are the materials you will need. Your Cricut or die cutting machine, weeding tools, a brayer, optional scoring wheel, use a light grit mat and a standard grip mat, some cardstock, glitter adhesive foil, and some gold vinyl. I also use tacky glue. And for the accents, I use Mod Podge glitter and a small paintbrush. If you're unfamiliar with downloading and uploading files into Cricut, you can click the card right up here for an in-depth overview. Now let's open up Cricut Design Space. We're gonna go to Uploads and select your SVG you uploaded. And I'm gonna click Shapes, click Circle. And I actually wanted to resize this hat a little bit smaller. So I wanted the brim of my hat to be four and a half inches. We're going to keep the SVG as a group and resize it till it just fits right over it. I'm just going to change the color of the SVGs just so it's easier to see when I add some score lines. So we're going to go over to shapes, grab another circle, but go to operation and click the drop down menu to click score. Then I'm just resizing it till it looks like it fits over the lines properly. This isn't necessary, but it is helpful when you fold your pieces over. Once it looks like it is the correct size, select both items and go to align and click center to center. Now that it looks like I have the correct size, I'm just going to attach those two together but just select the score line and hit duplicate so I can use it for the brim. Select the brim, the score line, go over to a line and hit center to center. Then you'll click attach. Since I also wanted to fit Happy New Year on here, I decided to make the strap a little bit smaller. So I decided to make it three quarters of an inch. So just go over, just make sure you unlock your band, go over to the height and type in 0.75. Now to add the text, you're going to go right over to the text button, type in happy new year, and then go over to align and hit center. Then I'm going to go over to the fonts and I really liked how vintage curveball looked. It's going to be a gold, so I'm just going to click a yellow for that. Now I'm just resizing it within the top hat until I'm happy. Now to add some accents, I'm going to go over to images and search for firework. The firework, I would like it to be in vinyl, so I'm going to filter in my materials sections just so it can give me a thicker looking SVG. Now to customize this, I went over to contour and I'm actually going to hide half of the image because I want the firework to kind of outline the Happy New Year. And then just duplicate it and then you can rotate how you would want your SVG to look. So now I'm going to select that SVG, go back to contour and I'm going to click hide all contours and show just to reset it. And then I'm actually going to hide the other side. Once that's all lined up, I'm going to actually select both of the fireworks and go over to align and center top, just so I can get a really good idea of the look. Since I want to make this top hat sit on a headband, I decided to add a strap that I can just slide the headband through. Now it's just time to go over to make it. For my black cardstock, I am actually need to choose letter size. Rearrange your items on the mat so it's optimal with less scraps. 
And then you can go to browse materials and select the weight of your cardstock. So you need the light grip mat for cardstock and I'm just using a brayer to fully flatten it out. Then you can load it right into your Cricut machine and listen to the prompts. I had to use a scoring wheel first and then my fine point blade. When it comes to weeding, just flip the mat over and slowly peel back. Everything pops out pretty easily. This inner part I had a little difficulty with and I had to use my craft knife to get out some of the tiny pieces. When weeding your vinyl, I like to put out these, take out all the small pieces first. And then if I have any trouble, I like to use the craft knife and I kind of cut some pieces out so it's easier to weed and it doesn't pull up too many of the other letters. Now that you've finished weeding, cut some transfer tape, place it on top of your vinyl and just really burnish down. Now it's time to bend all your score lines. For the brim, you're just going to fold all the pointy bits inward and the other part is your hat topper. So just fold them all in. An easier way to glue it together is by making this long glue line and then placing it upside down and wrapping it all the way around. The tabs are gonna fold over just a little bit. You're gonna have to hold it there for about a minute. When gluing the top down, you only need to glue four points, but I like to be a little extra, so I put glue on all of them. Now when gluing on the band, I like to prep it and kind of curl it with my scraper as well as just rolling it in my hands. And then I overlapped the band as well, keeping it towards the back where the previous overlap of the black cardstock was. So now that my Happy New Year is all is on some transfer tape, I'm gonna peel it off because it's ready to apply. So you're gonna carefully place it down and try to keep it as straight as possible. Another good tip for round surfaces is just to cut a slit in it so it can curve well. Then just use something to burnish it to press it down onto the hat and then peel away. This isn't the best transfer paper. It's not transfer paper at all. It's actually contact paper. So I don't recommend you use what I am because you can see it gets glue on to your project, but it wasn't really that noticeable in person. So yeah, and you can see you can reuse your transfer paper also. So you don't always have to cut a new piece. Then just line it up and press it down. You can see I initially glued it wrong, but you wanna glue your piece right in line with your words because the headband is gonna go across. And since I did a test cut, I decided to use my test cut star and just glue it onto the top because it was pretty. Your hat is totally beautiful like that, but if you wanna be a little extra like me because I love glitter, I'm free handing some extra fireworks on the back side with some Mod Podge. Then just dump a whole bunch of glitter onto it and shake it off. Always have a clean piece of paper underneath your glitter project because once you are done shaking it off, you can easily just put all of that glitter right back into your container because it's nice and clean. My, I like to leave my hat loose, but you can easily glue it. I actually ended up using blue tape to hold it in place because I wanted my headband to be interchangeable. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can click the card right up here or click here for an entire playlist. Don't forget to watch the blooper at the end and I will see you guys next week. Hi, 